We're gonna have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay. <laughs> I'm gonna walk like 10 blocks away from where we are right now. Welcome to Paraguay. I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm not really feeling it at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's faking it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna fix that right now. We slept so close to the border here, and it's like a triple border. So because of the rivers, you know, you got Iguazu Falls, that's one of the rivers, and then the Paraná River. But that makes it so that there's three countries right next to each other here. Pretty special. So let's get things started by going to have breakfast here in Argentina. We're going to have very traditional uh, brekkie here at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> So for our breakfast here in Argentina, we're having media lunas, which are like croissants that are super sugary. Maybe honey inside there a lot. Pretty tasty though, nice little brekkie start off. And I want to break down in each country the currency. So here in Argentina, <laughs> the pesos, here's the smallest one I got, 20 pesos. These days, you're getting 400 pesos for a US dollar. And this is the biggest bill here. This is like $2.50, the biggest bill right now in Argentina. So that's the money situation. When it comes to the gas price, we broke down the math the other day. It's basically $2.11 a gallon. This was touching on that money, so I think I'll pick it up like this, but honestly, you kind of have to. It's so sticky, which is kind of surprising to me because they eat pizza with a fork and a knife here. So <laughs> I wonder what the proper technique to eating a media luna is. <laughs> is it eating every meal in different countries or is it Emily spilling something on herself in different countries? <laughs> Let's get the van ready to go across the border. <laughs> so to get ready for the border we're just preparing all the paperwork we got copies of everything so just kind of sorting through we want to give the copies to the border people and not the originals for the pet paperwork because looks like it should work for 60 days we'll be able to cross a few borders with the same set all right we're heading to the border and i know that eating breakfast at a gas station is not usually what you guys do but this was actually really, really nice. I mean, obviously, they had ceramic cups for our coffees. I'm a little bit scared because we're crossing with Danny's new passport for the first time. Yeah, it's an emergency passport, a limited passport that will only be valid for one year. It only has six pages for stamps. But my other passport was full of stamps, so they gave me this one. What's nerve-wracking is that we came in with his old passport and he's gonna try and leave with this one. So, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, I hope they accept it. And then also, every country is kind of like, are they going to accept an emergency passport? Because the, whenever they issued it to us, they said they not every country accepts it. But, you know, probably Brazil accepts it. We're in this line here. I'm not even sure if this is the right line. It looked like there was some official helper guy and he was just telling us to go buy stuff in Paraguay. Para <laughs> Brazil. Okay. No. No. Okay, gracias. Yeah, no, it was just a dude. Yeah. He had a shirt. It's like municipality of, of Sao Paulo, so. That's like a Brazilian shirt. I don't get it, but I'm just gonna walk up here while Emily drives and see if this is the right line, what's going on here. Yeah, we're in the right line. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, cuatro años y medio. Wow. Man, pero no hablo portugués. No, no, no. Oh, gracias. En Argentina, cuando una persona se llama igual, se dice tocayo. Oh, Daniel. Daniel. Mi tocayo. En Estados Unidos, ¿cómo se dice eso? Oh, no tiene nombre. Mm, no creo que tiene un nombre twins. por eso. Twins. Y ella dice gemelos, como twins. Ah, claro. Twins. Okay. Vale. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Chao. 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 My passport was no problem so far. Thank goodness. He will hopefully cancel our uh, TIP here. 
Listo. Muchas gracias. Oh, I was like starting to get nervous. I was like, oh, and hopefully he actually cancels that or we'll have trouble going forward. Yeah, yeah. But I remembered we're not going back to Argentina in the van. <laughs> Cancel out of Argentina. Yeah, which is basically a two-step process if you're not doing pet paperwork, which it seems like at this border crossing we don't have to. But the two steps are your passport, you know, you get a stamp or they at least run it. And the other step is the car's paperwork. And uh, both were super quick, actually a drive-through border crossing. Easy border so far, and now we're heading over to Brazil. Yeah, we're halfway done. We're gonna go do the other, the two steps again to enter Brazil, get our passport scanned or stamped, and get the car's paperwork. So hopefully it's quick. It's uh frontera. -huh. In Spanish, it would be frontera. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Some guy was just telling us directions and we both were like at the end gracias and it was and then I was like obrigada obrigada yeah no he was speaking in Spanish for us like a really yeah, Portuguese accent but that guy was super nice we our first interaction with the locals and we understood each other oh I'm getting this such a good feeling of just being in a new country again it's been like I love Argentina but we were there a long time and Chile you know in and out at the bottom so I just oh, I can just feel such a good energy today coming to a new country again. This is awesome. <laughs> Super fast getting our passports checked there. And now we are heading to do the cars paperwork. All right, done with the cars paperwork. The boss is a very chatty guy. He was translating some words into to English from Portuguese using Google Translate. I already got Portuguese uh, downloaded on my Translate app because we're gonna need new SIM cards in a new country here. But it's not called a SIM card because SIM means yes. So I guess they call it a cheap. Oh man, here we go. Finally leaving the border zone. Yeah, I think there's no like official guy who's gonna check our papers, which usually happens at this sort of a thing. He's like on the way out of the city of Iguazu. Oh. He's like 100 kilometers out of the city. Because a lot of people can come into Iguazu and not have to do any papers at all. Then I guess we made it. Yeah, we uh, made it. Time for lunch. Step yes. Two. I'm lunch so in excited. Brazil. I'm really excited for lunch. I'm getting hungry. Is it long? It's so good. It looked like it was gonna be like an ice cream kind of, but this looks like pretty similar. I'm just not used to that like shape of it, but it's like a, yeah, but it's super super good. Honestly. Oh man, I've always loved acai bowls, and I thought, wow, first meal in Brazil, that would be sweet to try, like what they eat at like. And I got a bonus, chicken croqueta thing, super tasty. So is it lunch or is it like a? Ice cream. It's a snack because it's just like water and fruit. We're gonna have to. Lunch in Brazil, what do you think? Huh? Oh, it was so good. Yeah, we still haven't really had much summer weather being down in Patagonia so long this year. So I was getting like brain freeze after brain freeze eating my acai. <laughs> I'm not used to eating cold things anymore. You're getting brain freezes too? Oh, brain freezes all the time. <laughs> That's so tasty. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I don't know if it was like sweeter a little bit maybe than in the States. Really interesting just trying to order, trying to read the menu. Super hard being, you know, not able to speak the language. So it's been quite the experience. And on the menu, it's kind of funny. We were looking, they had these uh, tapioca section, which I think were like crepes, tapioca based crepes. And uh, one of the ingredients was like something of Peru. I looked it up and it was turkey. So Emily said, oh, so they got a country named Turkey too. We went to the Claro store and I got a chip. So we're unsure whether or not the woman kind of scammed us. We're not quite sure because I read online that to get a chip here, you have to have Brazilian documents. So you can only get a tourist chip. I got the tourist chip which is 14 gigabytes for 30 days for uh, $25. That isn't like the best deal that we've had, but honestly, it's still way better than the US. But I'm a little nervous that I'm going to use that 14 gigabytes pretty quickly. 
we only got one chip like that because we're kind of suspicious of whether or not this is like a scam. So Danny decided he was gonna go the harder route. He talked to a woman and she said, oh uh, yeah, that lady was full of it. You can go and get a chip at basically any gas station and re-up your phone a bunch of times, so. I was talking to the lady in like a cell phone repair store right around the corner and she said she recommended the company Chin. Whoa, the light has like this countdown thing on the left side. This is seriously like a completely different traffic light that I have never seen. Yeah, it's like Whoa. really, really different. That is funky. Oh. Yeah, we can bring the dog. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a great perspective on the border here. This is a nice walk, huh? I'm really stoked that there's air conditioning in here. I, know, I did not expect so that. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to wait to break down the money until we actually have something to show you. But basically, it's five to one here. Five Brazilian reals for one US dollar. And that is how much it costs for a dog to ride. <laughs> <laughs> so far, everyone has been so nice. And even though they're saying things that we don't, at least I don't really understand. They're always smiling. Great place so far. I'm excited to be in Brazil. You she love it. Come with us, huh? She loves coming with us. The water from Iguazu Falls flows this way and it meets up with the Paraná River, the border between Brazil and Paraguay. And then they join and become the border between Paraguay and Argentina. And the fact that there's things to do on each side of it too. You know, you can check out Iguazu Falls from both sides over here. And then in Paraguay, I guess a lot of people go shopping over there. And yeah, I don't know, we'll check that out next, so. Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay. We're at the top, Sombrita, what do you think? But it really does feel so different being at like the most southern point of a huge country to the north after being at the most northern point of the huge country to the south. <laughs> it just feels like a completely different energy. Such a hopeful moment for us to be doing a new thing here. Yeah, and getting in, no problems. I think we yeah. can just walk on into Paraguay and leave the van. Yeah. So we're not gonna do the van's paperwork and you know we'll leave the animals but we'll just go for dinner over there but yeah it's just crazy that with a van you can travel to a whole new country and it just feels like a whole new life all of a sudden in the van's 16th country right should we count yeah let's count it out okay okay u.s Canada, mexico guatemala el salvador honduras nicaragua costa rica panama colombia uh, ecuador right. peru bolivia chile argentina brazil oh Wow, man. Congrats. We brought some treats. Oh, that's a new trick for her. She did great. Muerta. Muerta. Play dead. We got her in Mexico, so she does everything in Spanish. Arriba! Muy bien! Oh, he really doesn't want to go outside, huh? Well, he was taking a nap on the countertop, so. <laughs> I understand, buddy. He's a nice little kitty. <laughs> Just got more Well, that acai was really good, but it wasn't like a super filling lunch. Double lunch here in Brazil. <laughs> Quiche means. Oh, there's coffee. Yeah. 
sure is interesting trying to order things without knowing the language. Emily got this, it's called sucha, which, is it an iced tea like we thought? Yeah. And I got a coffee because we're both kind of dead. <laughs> but Emily, you're not jealous of my coffee, you're jealous of this little thing? <laughs> I'm jealous of them both. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, this looks familiar. Yeah, it's actually a vegan mushroom sandwich. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, I like that cross section. Thanks. And I asked the lady, hey, what should I get for my first food in Brazil? She said, get a pizza. <laughs> that actually looks super bomb, doesn't it? Sombre. Ooh, pizza. <laughs> 23 bucks for that lunch with a coffee and a nice juice you had. Where's Graham? I bet he's in his little apartment. Oh, what a cutie. Oh my gosh. We are feeling it, you know? This challenge of doing three countries in one day <laughs> is a bit much, you know? So we're recharging with some mate, you know, the cold mate up in this area. We're gonna recharge the batteries and head on over to Paraguay, country number three for the day. Obviously, we're gonna have to get some hunger first, but might as well just wander around a little bit in Paraguay, I figure. And we talked to the waitress in there and she said it's probably better not to walk across at this time of day because it's did she say it's unsafe or something or? no she just said it's kind of far it's gasolina it's gasolina nata and nata sí. okay y acá es uh, gasolina yeah, común es etanol 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 ah it's not etanol yeah that's not us um si sí, la gasolina común si sí. close to the Paraguay Brazil border and then we're gonna make our way across but I honestly need to have another mate because I know that we could have tricked everyone and done this over multiple days but we actually aren't doing that <laughs> because usually border crossing days are like so intense so yeah having a border two border crossings and Yesterday we went to Iguazu. Last night we slept at the gas station, so it wasn't super quiet. But luckily we're sleeping here tonight and it should be super quiet. But the guy did say people are coming in the morning, so we'll see how that goes. We're gonna take the pets for a walk after my tenor day. Wow, so we got parked up here and he originally um, asked for 40 real, which I believe would be about eight bucks. <laughs> and I read online that it should be 20, so you know, I don't remember when it was. 2018. Oh wow. So I said, oh, how about 30? Like I said first, like, oh, you got a shower and stuff? And he was like, nah, not really. Yeah, he said, if we want to cross now is the best time. We should probably get going pretty soon. Taking a taxi on the way back would be good because, um, you know, it's getting a little unsafe over there. Yeah. He said, it's also an hour different to cross that bridge, the time zone. So this is the money of Brazil right here. So we got a 10, so that would be about $2 says uh, 10 reals or I'm not sure how to pronounce it yet <laughs> so this is the biggest note that we got a hundred which would be divided by five this would be about twenty dollars so more than the biggest note in Argentina currently which is only three bucks but yeah so now we've got the money yeah the price of gas turned out to be four dollars and fifteen cents a gallon oh man I miss Argentina for the gas for sure gas was 211 over there double the price of gas over here but there is some other gas i need to read up about that was called like ethanol added now that we've checked out brazil let's head over to paraguay this time we're leaving the pets don't have to worry about the van's paperwork and we can just walk across a bridge so should be nice leaving the van right over van. there with ramon should be a pretty easy walk and should be beautiful too on this bridge So there's the one border crossing, everybody's coming in. And there's the traffic going the other way here. So we might not even have to show our passport. Let's see. This is like, everybody's just crossing all the time, back and forth. This is really different. So this would be migration here, but I don't think we even have to go in and do anything. Nobody else is. We just walk right across to another country without even checking our passport or nothing. How different than the other crossing today. 
Oh my God, look at this. We are crossing the border. We haven't showed any paperwork and that is the huge Paraná River. Traffic city over here. Wow, what do you think of this, Emily? I think that we're faster than the cars, maybe. Yeah. Dang, you're definitely right, Emily. We are way faster than these cars here. Oh man, we're almost there. Going to Paraguay. <laughs> Three countries, one day. There it is. Think they're gonna want us to go through this migration? Maybe. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting another stamp with my passport, to be honest. I know I want the stamp, but I don't want to even deal with any bureaucracy. <laughs> oh, look at that! There's already like shopping all over. Oh, we're in. <laughs> Three countries, one day. This is so sick. Oh my god. Oh, as long as we stay safe and we make it back and we get some dinner. Look at the electric right there. Oh damn. Yeah, the electrical? Oh, ooh. Going into the heart. Look at that electrical Emily was saying. Oh, man. Yeah, that electrical is looking pretty gnarly, Emily. Good point. I think during the day, this is a little fancier. Now we're here. The, everything's closing. But, yeah, we'll check it out. See what's going on over here. Wow, they told us that all the shops would be closed, but this is nearly post-apocalyptic. Trash everywhere. And yeah, go to some restaurant and get like a co get like a coffee. I don't know. Like, I want to walk like 10 blocks away from where we are right now. So this seems like the spot during the day to get some Chinese stuff. Okay, yeah, I think we're starting to get into a little nicer area. That was kind of scary, honestly. Yeah, huge don't, piles of garbage. Don't want to walk through there at night at all. But honestly, the reason for the big piles of garbage is that they just got done with the selling for the day. And so that, you know, they threw it on the street, it all gets taken away. So we kind of chose like the perfectly wrong time to come. But this up here, this street is looking like a lot less like an abandoned market. People looking nice. We even got kids walking around over here. Yeah. So hopefully, I mean, it's just fun to walk around and look, but I'd like to do something. So we got a chipa here. This was 3,000 Guarani, about 50 cents. Uh... Mm. Oh, something in there. Yeah, it's meat. Oh, shoot, it's up for you then. No. You knew that? Yeah. Yeah, I found something to do. But <laughs> <laughs> wander around some more here in Paraguay. <laughs> okay. So here is the veg restaurant I found for Emily, but it's gonna have to be something else for dinner. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, babe. Finding that for me. It's kind of slim pickings. Let's go check out that park over there. Just, okay. We can hear some music going on. Yeah. See what's going on with the public space. <laughs> Pretty interesting, honestly. I guess that was a political candidate who's running for president right now. And they're having a big party. Everybody was taking selfies with them. Yeah, that was funny. Ooh, but we got this drink here. What is this? Like a strawberry. Whoa. Whoa. That's so much flavor. Yeah, that's pretty bomb. All right, this place looks pretty good. We're going to take a break in here. Let's check it out. Cheers, dude. Oh, so nice. Oh, Taiwanese. Are you stoked? Yes, yeah. Ooh. Paraguayan Taiwan food. That is really big. According to some chef, this was the top wine chicken in the world. It does look really good, to be honest. Was that for dinner in Paraguay, huh? Yeah. yeah. Breakfast in Argentina, lunch in Brazil, <laughs> dinner in Paraguay. That's tasty. That's super good. Welcome to Paraguay. One Chinese restaurant, another Chinese, and we went to that one over there. God, that, that was, was so like good. That was the best food. You don't expect to go to Paraguay for Chinese food, or Taiwan. That was super bomb. 
But back in that bar when we had the beer, I was able to count out the dollars and, and show you guys the currency. It is 7,000 Guaranis to $1. There you have it, three countries in one day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in a different country. Now we just gotta make it across the border to our bed. <laughs> the guy at the Taiwanese restaurant told me there's a cab right up here. The parking guy we paid told me how much to pay. So let's give it a shot here. Hopefully it'll be a real easy, quick way to get back to the van for the night. So the guy wants uh, about 10 bucks to go across the border. Cincuenta reales. Muchas gracias. Gracias, señor. Cualquier cosa puede llamar, cualquier hora. Oh, okay. Gracias. Okay. Agradecer bien. Agradecer bien. Chao, señor. Buenas noches. Hey, Ramon. Oh my gosh, this dog is so happy to see us. As we get back to the van, the lights are on. Because she's been turning on the lights. Okay. <laughs> I recommend taking like three months per country. Take our time with the van traveling. But what a challenge it was to do three countries in one day. We're so glad to bring you guys along and check it all out. If you think that you also want to go to three countries in one day for breakfast, <laughs> lunch, and dinner, let us know in the comments. And if you want to follow along with our other crazy ideas, make sure to like and subscribe. If you want to show us a little bit more love, head over to our Patreon. We will see you soon.